so who wants to take a guess at what I'm going to be for Halloween? If you guess Nicki Minaj, you're so right. That is exactly what this wig inspired me to do a look based on. So, it's very fun, very colorful, and very quite easily actually. You don't need that many products. So, if you're interested, just keep watching. So, basically my eye is primed already. And I'm just ready to start applying makeup. So, the first color I'm going to be using is from my ADA Coastal Scents. It's going to be this hot pink this one. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. So, you're going to pack that on real heavily all the way to your brow bone. Apply a bronzy purple color. I'm using my palette again. And I'm using this one right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that all over my crease. Next, I'm going to grab a darker purple color, the darkest purple. And I'm gonna do the actual crease line. So if you can see closely, I'm actually lining that crease. I don't know if you can actually see the line. And I'm going to start making that V right in that corner. Now with another blending brush, I'm going to take a light pink the lightest pink I can get and I'm going to put it all over as a highlight and clean that up right there. And just blend it. Blend the colors. Bring it all the way inside of your eye. Okay, now with another clean eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take a white and put it right underneath my brow. So now I'm going to apply some more hot pink. And just pack it on there really heavily and you can kind of see the crease now with this brown dip smudge brush I'm gonna take a really dark purple and just go over that crease again it doesn't matter if it's too high because as you can tell the eyelash is really long so the more you emphasize that crease the better so that you can actually see it over the eyelash. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see. You're not going to be able to see this purple. So you really want this purple to come out. Way out of your brow. Way out of your crease line. I know it looks a little bit 
like exaggerating but with this look it's okay now I'm gonna go back again with the light pink from my 88 Coastal Sense palette and go over and blend that out again Now I have this um, brown, um, purple mac. It's a uh, rich purple. This is from the chromatic pencils. I'm just gonna apply that in my eye, my waterline. And I like to smudge it out as much as possible. That way it really shows. And if um, you saw my last video, you know how I basically do them only that. This time I only line the bottom and not the top. Okay, so I'm going to put my eyelashes and I'm going to be right back. So now that I have both eyes done, um, like I said, I already did all my makeup except for now I'm going to put some blush. I already did my contouring, I already did my foundation, now I'm going to do some blush and I'm going to finish off the lips. Okay, so for my blush, I'm going to pick the hottest pink, this one, because we all know this girl likes to over exaggerate everything so I'm gonna it's, it's, as you can see it's very pigmented it's very bright so I'm gonna I'm gonna take some off because I don't want it to be that bright I'm just gonna go on the apples on my cheek and then bring it up some to blend it out Now for the other cheek as well. I'm gonna be bringing this. So right now I feel that it's very pink. So what I'm gonna do is with my bronzer, because I also want to be darker, because we all know that her and I are two different colors. I'm just gonna. Put on some bronzer and go all over my face. To so not only blend the the very hot pink cheeks, but also to give me a little bit of more <clears throat> a little bit of more color on my skin because I'm trying to be as close as to her skin color as I can. Now for the lips, I'm going to be using this hot pink. It's actually called Dramatic Pink. This is like a, maybe like a Jordana. Pretty cheap brand. Like I said, I... Paint the inside. Now for this, I'm going to be mixing a couple of colors. First, I'm going to use my MAC Lady Gaga. Next, I'm actually going to be using eyeshadow. And as you can see, it's a very bright fuchsia color and I'm going to put that on my lips 
In a future video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make, you can create your own color lipstick. Now, next color I'm going to be using is this Revlon. It's, um, super lustrous line and pearl, and gentlemen prefer pink. How funny, huh? Marilyn Monroe. I'm just going to go over that. Finally, some lip gloss. This one's from Avon. is a is a Glazewear Shine lip gloss. Just to finally mix all those colors in together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It was really fun creating it, and I'm pretty sure it will be fun for you to recreate. And maybe change up the colors or make it your own, you know. Um, yeah, and you can wear this out for Halloween or maybe to a party. You know, you never know when you can use it. Uh, once again, I will be posting up all the products that I used on my blog. Um, and if you have any questions or any comments, you can just get back to me, you know, answer back. And I promise I'll get back on the smoky eye look once I get back from Orlando because I'm going to be going there for a week now. So, um, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching.